Fair Isle, Fra L, is a traditional knitting technique used to create patterns with multiple colors. It is named after Fair Isle, one of the Shetland Islands. Fair Isle knitting gained considerable popularity when the Prince of Wales later Edward VIII wore Fair Isle jumpers in public in 1921. Traditional Fair Isle patterns have a limited palette of five or so colors, use only two colors per row, are worked in the round, and limit the length of a run of any particular color. Some people use the term, Fair Isle, to refer to any colorwork knitting where stitches are knitted alternately in various colors, with the unused colors stranded across the back of the work. Others use the term, Stranded colorwork for the generic technique, and reserve the term, Fair Isle, for the characteristic patterns of the Shetland Islands. Other techniques for knitting in color include intarsia, slip stitch color, also known as mosaic knitting. Topic. Technique Basic two-color fair aisle requires no new techniques beyond the basic knit stitch. The purl stitch is not used if circular knitting needles or three double-pointed needles are used. At each knit stitch, there are two available, active, colors of yarn. One is drawn through to make the knit stitch, and the other is simply held behind the piece, carried as a loose strand of yarn behind the just-made stitch. To avoid, loose. Strands larger than 3 to 5 stitches, the yarn not in use can be caught by the yarn in use without this being seen on the front of the work. See below. Knitters who are comfortable with both English style and continental style knitting can carry one color with their right hand and one with their left, although it is also possible to simply use two different fingers for the two colors of yarn and knit both using the same style. The simplest fair aisle pattern uses circular or double pointed needles, cast on any number of stitches. Knitting then continues round and round, with the colors alternated every stitch. If the pattern is started with an even number of stitches, a vertically striped tube of fabric will be formed, while an odd number will create a diagonal grid that appears to mix the two colors. Traditional fair aisle patterns normally had no more than two or three consecutive stitches of any given color, because they were stranded, and too many consecutive stitches of one color means a very long strand of the other, quite easy to catch with a finger or button. A more modern variation is woven fair aisle, where the unused strand is held in slightly different positions relative to the needles and thereby woven into the fabric, still invisible from the front, but trapped closely against the back of the piece. This permits a nearly limitless variety of patterns with considerably larger blocks of color. Traditionally, fair aisle jumper construction involves knitting the body of the jumper completely in the round. Steaks from the Scottish word meaning stitch to close shut and comprising several stitches are worked across the armhole openings allowing the body to be completed in the round without interruption. Once the main body of the jumper is complete, the armhole steaks are cut open. Sometimes these are secured before cutting. Stitches are then picked up around the armhole opening and the sleeve is knitted down toward the cuff in the round. Since the 1990s, the term, fair aisle, has been applied very generally and loosely to any stranded color knitting regardless of its relation to the knitting of fair aisle or any of the other Shetland islands. See also Gumbies <laughs>